All right, news flash. This is for all those people out there that think AMC has a real price, quote unquote real price. All right, this is not financial advice. This is just my honest opinion. And this is how I've made money on AMC and not lost money on AMC like 95% of you out there. And the people that keep saying that $9 is not the real price for AMC or this isn't the real price for AMC. The real price for AMC is 25 cents adjusted for inflation and adjusted for split. You, you'll never get anywhere thinking that AMC is not at the price that it shows on the exchange. That's ludicrous. All right. AMC's had multiple splits now. And to think that AMC has is not this price, that it is some other price. Then let's go with that, geniuses. AMC's real price is 25 cents. Okay, so if AMC's real price is 25 cents, then what does that do for you? Where does that get you? That gets you into the mentality that uh, you should hold it, I guess. Uh, well, if the real price is 25 cents, then it says $9. Then what are you making yourself believe that you come out on top, that you've made money, that it's more expensive than that you bought it cheaper or something? The, the whole idea of thinking that AMC is at a different price right now, to me, in my mind, is FUD. And it's those people that want other people to believe that you should buy AMC or keep or just keep holding AMC and just keep buying more AMC when you're going to keep working your, yourself into a hole, all right? I buy and sell AMC, and I've been making money on AMC, and I haven't been losing money on AMC, all right? Call me a paper hands, whatever. I don't care. But days like today, when AMC is down 30% and the real price for AMC is $9, that's when you want to buy. When everybody's selling today on days like today and tomorrow, if it keeps falling, I'm going to keep buying. I'm going to keep loading the boat on AMC at the real price of $9.00. And when it goes back up to $10 or $11 or whatever, I'm going to sell my AMC and I'm going to take a profit before Adam Aaron drops more shares on y'all. And y'all keep y'all while y'all keep talking about the real price of AMC. Oh, I guess when it gets to $10, then it's 26 cents or whatever in y'all's minds. But y'all got to let go of the real price of AMC or that it's some other price than what it actually shows because that's how y'all keep losing money. You gotta be honest with yourself. You gotta know when AMC is cheap or any stock, when it's cheap, when it's oversold, or when it's too expensive and when it's overbought. Unless you're holding forever, and unless you plan to hold AMC for the rest of your life and give it to your kids and your grandkids and all that, I'm not doing that. I'm sorry, I've lost too much money on AMC and other plays that now I'm getting my money back. So let's do this. For all the people that think that AMC's real price is $0.25, cents, uh, come back to my channel in another week when AMC recovers from where it's at. You know, not financial advice. It might not recover. But in my honest opinion, AMC's going to recover. Everybody's scared. Everybody's selling. Everybody's running for the hills. Just like they were saying after the split happened and we had a 50% drop then... No, I guess that wasn't the real price then. A lot of people were still lost money, still bag holding. I was buying and I sold and I'm buying again and I'll sell again and I'll take my profit. And you guys can keep bickering and arguing about what the real price of AMC is. I'm going to buy it and sell it when it's cheap.